hello welcome welcome back in a very 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 happy birthday to all of you <laughs> in advance so virgo sun moon rising venus and jupiter let's get started month of september 2022 interesting my god 2022 has been like really quick it was super quick isn't it so let's see where go sun moon rising venus and jupiter oh okay but i already started anyways what do you need to know what's coming up for you what do you need to remember for this month right and anything and everything <laughs> virgo oh virgo somebody is there around you okay this judgment and there is a there is somebody very attracted to you. It can be a fire sign. I'll read this for you. Motivational, inspiring, theoretical, and ambitious. Take the leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. I see somebody around you. King of Fawns here, Virgo. Uh, this person is sitting on the throne. I see this person has achieved a lot. And they're very popular. And they're very passionate. Popular can be in any sense, right? Maybe in their surroundings, they're working good. But they're attractive and they have eyes on you here. I see this is somebody you already know, know this month unexpectedly something can revive and you're like, okay, I was not looking for that. For all of you, the situation is coming from a place where something uh, like things have been rocky with this person I'm picking up or things were rocky in past. I see five of pentacles. There was some abandonment or ghosting I'm picking up. I don't know you did that or th this person did that. But there's some kind of uh, renewal happening. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life, purpose. In your heart, you know what you, what to do, right? So I see a lot of intuition coming to you this month. I see a lot of things coming back to life and you will get a chance for a lot of you i'm also picking up that if there's a specific person who's trying to return into your life or there is somebody around you with you have like you have some kind of history with this person i feel that uh this time somebody wants to head in a new direction with you right and for a lot of you i feel that see this is some kind of family here and uh, i see the angel here i feel this is archangel michael right so this renewal this this uh, coming back energy is coming in with a very positive vibration here right okay let's have the tarot cards let's see what messages come through for you overall it's appearing quite good and positive right september 2022 for virgos let's see for a lot of you, I see this is the time where you make peace with your past, right? That's the energy in this card. You make peace with your past and uh, some things have been rocky, maybe with this person or your journey with this person was rocky or in general, your couple, your partnership had to suffer a lot. Whatever be the case, I see things are going to be different this time because I see a lot of compassion, right? So that's a good start, I must say, Virgo. Okay. Here you are showing up, Queen of Pentacles. A pop out, I'll put it back and see if it comes back. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, okay. One shuffle and then we are good to go. Right? Nine of Pentacles is starting off quite well. Nine of Pentacles, feeling independent, feeling uh, some kind of liberty here, right? Starting off quite positive here comes the fire energy we're talking about. Okay, so I'm picking up this fire energy for you, Virgo, and I see wishy-washy energy in the beginning. I see you starting off this month quite independent, right? This person is coming with a small, naive confession. confession. I do see compassion also, but... It's going to be a little uh, wishy-washy for a lot of you. I see this is you. In the beginning, you're not taking it seriously or you're not you're not thinking too much about it, right? You're just exploring the moment. You're just living in the moment kind of energy here. 
and at heart you want something concrete right i see a thought on your mind here virgo as you enter this month and as this person enters the scenario i see the thought on your mind is going to be that offer me something which is concrete even if it is small even if it is you know uh, not hu something huge but at least make it tangible i see you want something concrete something tangible here and um for a lot of you that's the reason in the beginning see page of cups in reversed i see somebody's having some severe communication issues here this person has some severe communication issues and i see that can be one of the reasons why you maintain one arm's distance from this energy you want something tangible okay something in your surroundings nine of cups wow there's some kind of mirroring happening here now virgo i see you very you caring very less about this energy as we start off this month right you're caring very less because somehow you're loving the kind of freedom you're achieving you're starting off beautifully here a lot of passion on your mind meanwhile this person is coming from a place of a terrible ending right ten of swords is there eight of wands seven of cups four of swords yeah five of swords i see this person is coming from a place of a connection they had in their life and they had a very bad experience for a lot of you i see they were very uncomfortable in the situation whatever the situation is and they were taking a break healing they were very confused and finally some messages were exchanged some back and forth movement happened and the situation came to an end i see they're not telling you anything about that nine of cups here i see a lot of uh, secrets hiding behind this curtain but this person is sitting here beautifully showing you that oh i'm very happy to see the you know these changes and i'm very happy to be around you they're going to enter the scenes as if you know things are really good <laughs> but but i see they see you caring less they see that you're not really bothered about what's there behind the curtain what's there behind uh you know whatever they're hiding behind these cups and also i'm picking up that you are having a very different mindset right you might not even be concerned about the history or the background this person is coming from because i see in the beginning you're taking things really casual okay we'll go judgment see renewal here this person wants chances i do see that you have a uh, very less faith in the situation or you don't trust the situation completely right now because knight of wands on your part is showing me that you're just going around right you might just go and see where it goes you might just go and see if it's actually you know worth a shot or not somebody here is a little more serious than what they're showing judgment is again the same renewal energy this person wants to revive the past but they want to see the things in a very different light this time right for a lot of you i see this activity this action is coming from a place which is hidden from you there are some secrets this person is going through here they, they, they have been through some terrible changes in their life tower five of cups and this person is also regretting some things that uh, you know went downhill for them they're not showing you anything they're not telling you anything there's a lot behind the scenes but okay let's see but they're very attracted to you yes yeah this person you know what they're not showing you is that they're moving on from something they're having some responsibilities they're having some issues in their life for a lot of you this person has been through a rough patch in their life a very um you know um i don't know very bad experience something like, terrible experience for some of you there was somebody here okay i see they they're coming from a place of changes for some of you king and queen of wands this can be you right it might be looking at you this way and they know that you both have a couple here you both have that uh, attraction you you are a catch for them but what they are not telling you is that they're coming full circle in their life something has happened here ten of wands feeling burdened disappointed very confused still looking backwards i see some some energy for someone i picked up mother also but for rest of you this can be any female in their life who has been a troublemaker for them and for some of you i do see uh, this was involving love right this third party was involving love and they're coming from a place of big disappointment but one thing they cannot deny is that they have they feel this big 
pack up an energy with you. I'm just going to have a few cards here, right? Where go? Month of September appears fun for you, right? So, um, irrespective to what is coming here in your energies, this portion is telling me that you're going to stay quite independent and happy, feeling okay uh, where it goes. At least in the beginning of this month, I see you casually just exploring the scenes and for a lot of you, you might be keeping options open, right? You're not trusting something until unless you get this concrete thing we're talking about. Interesting. So, uh, I want to know what is the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? Ace of Swords, something... Oh, Empress, Page of Cups, yeah. I see Taurus, Libra energy. For a lot of you, this is mother thing. I see this person has been through a shaky past and this is surrounding their mother or involving their mother, right? Somehow their mother has been a factor in the turbulence they have been through in the past. And I see this person detaching themselves from something that was toxic or something that was unhealthy or that was very disappointing and finally i see things settling for them empress is something or the energy where somebody is outgrowing some things they're becoming you know um they're changing they're, they're moving towards growth prosperity they're understanding their value and worth and this is happening after they're detaching themselves from something. I do see some other issues here, right? So Page of Cups is showing me some serious, serious com communication issues. This person wants to express love. This person wants to <laughs> apologize for something. Or for someone specific, I'm picking up that this person is not able to tell their mother that they like you, right? <laughs> something surrounding that but anyways there's some communication issues there can you see how nervous this page of cups is there's some communication severe communication issues here they're so not able to express how they feel you on the other hand yeah you are also uh, wanting to have this judgment energy i do see that at heart i don't really feel that you're going to get you you will be getting impacted too much by this energy but if it comes, you'll enjoy it, right? So it's like, I don't have anything to lose. Again, the Knight of Wands energy. Don't really have anything to lose. If it goes somewhere, I'll be happy. And if it doesn't, then I'll, um, you know, then maybe better things are waiting for me. So I see a very carefree, relaxed, and, you know, not so Virgo energy here. <laughs> because you guys overthink, right? Uh, so, wow. Overall, it's a, it's a good energy here. So different than what you truly are isn't it virgo so what here oh yeah oh interesting very nice okay Virgo. i do see confession of love this person sees you as the par couple right i do see third party energy in their surroundings i do see somebody is very attracted to them and they're trying to let go of this person they're trying to detach themselves from this person they want to confess but it's very hard knight of cups in this in both these cups energy this person is not able to express and this person is drinking their own cup i see some severe communication issues but what you cannot deny is this two of cups wow very interesting energy Virgo. you on the other hand are taking things very lightly here seven of cups keeping options open okay there's this moon energy here so Virgo, i see that uh, um, why is this disappointment? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, for someone specific, I'm picking up that you're wanting to have an offer. Like, even if this confusion, you're keeping the options open, I'm picking up for a lot of you, Knight of Wands with Seven of Cups. And uh, I see you a little independent minded in this situation. I, I don't know, I'm just feeling that you care a little less than um, what you used to, or I don't know. But moon is showing me that there's a lot of criticism around you because you want something more concrete you want something more concrete okay let's have more clarity on this and then we're going to wind up the reading interesting energy virgo
Oh my god, Virgo, work on your connection and major changes. I do see somebody's effort coming in. And that's going to be a beautiful input because I see it's much more serious than you think. It's much more serious than you think. Some major changes are coming into your life, Virgo, awakening. Somebody is getting awakened to this connection. For some of you, it can be you also, right? So, wow, a lot of like multiple cards are coming out i cannot be keeping them all or i can <laughs> attraction new beginning expect a miracle my god a lot of positive cards showing up Virgo, in this reading open your heart open your heart open your heart chakra Virgo. let the energy flow in for a lot of you I see you are a little inconsistent here because you're not sure if you want to give it a try or you are not sure whether it's going to work out or not, whether it's, it's concrete enough or not. I do see good things coming in for you, right? And for a lot of you, expect an unexpected proposal for someone specific, right? Virgo, last but not the least, let's have one more. New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. So Virgo, some very beautiful new thing is coming in. Embrace your love. Yeah, this is showing up. Embrace your emotions. Virgo, get ready for some good things here. Got some good stuff coming in. I see somebody who is having some serious trouble in expressing feelings. I see this man, this person can actually express. So I'll leave you here. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye.